what is popping y'all it's your girl lulu just came from the gym y'all this is actually my i'm not even gonna lie to you i'm not even gonna lie this is actually my second time recording this fucking video i just recorded one video i did not like that video because i feel like when i was listening to it i didn't really make a lot of sense like i was hitting certain points but then certain points would kind of skew off and I was just getting lost in the sauce, you know, you know how you go, you go, you go, and you start rambling, and you start, you start doing all types of things in your mind, so, um, <laughs> but my biggest thing, uh, for making this video, my, um, biggest reason for making this video today is, I mostly, you know, I had a discussion last night with somebody, somebody, I had a discussion last night with one of my very close friends, and if he's watching this video, shouts out to you, Mwah. um, but I I realized that um, I really want to be challenged, right? I really want to be challenged in my mind and I really want to grow and have a better understanding of who I am. So anything from now on, anything that anybody says to me, I'm questioning. And I'm like, how can I apply that to myself? How can I, you know, what can I learn from this conversation? What can I learn from this person? How am I learning from this person right now? And how is this person learning from me? And how are we feeding each other right now, right? One of the conversations we had last night was a very quick conversation. Very, not really. We kind of had a little, it was a small debate, but not really. We brought up the difference between response and reaction. Now, he was saying, telling me that um, a reaction is something that you impulsively do, something that you don't think about. It's quick, right? And uh, he also was saying that uh, 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 a response is something that you actually think out, something that is more thoroughly thought through, something that you're like, okay, let me think about this before, you know, I, um, I, I make my next move or whatever. And I'm just saying to him, I was like, well, I don't really feel, I feel like a reaction is a type of response because if you're reacting to something, then you're responding to it essentially um and we just kind of went back on uh went back and forth on that for a little and he was just like no no i feel like reactions are definitely more impulsive because you know somebody could come up to you and whatever whatever and i was reading today i said let me go read up on that because i need to have a better understanding of that for myself right and he was right you know reactions are more impulsive reactions are something that you you do quickly you, you don't think about doing. If somebody comes up to you and hits you, you're going to hit their ass back. If somebody cheats on you, you're going to cheat on them back. If somebody has uh, did whatever to you, you're going to want to react to reflect that action against them. Um, but then I thought about it even more. I said, well, do reactions always have to be negative? Do reactions always have to be something that's um, um, aggressive, something that's, you know, mischievous, something that's deceitful, something that's, oh, I, if you do this to me, it's, it's basically like revenge, right? It's basically, that's how you can look at it. I said, but everything has polarity. Something can be on a higher level and something can be on a lower level, right? So if you react to something on a lower level versus you reacting something on a higher level, it's a difference. There is no negative connotation behind reacting to something. There is no negative connotation behind responding to something. But there can be for both. There can be. A reaction is something that um, um, is just impulsive. It, it's literally the different, biggest difference behind them is the timing. It's not the energy because you have to put intent behind everything that you do for yourself. And if you work on your emotional self and your emotional body, baby girl, baby boy, you do not have to worry about how you react or how you respond to something because you trust in your spirit and you let your spirit guide you, right? So let me ask you this because a response definitely, I mean, excuse me, a reaction definitely can be something that is positive right i'm gonna give you an example your man come in your girlfriend come in sexy looking good from work or from wherever the fuck they came from and they're like oh baby what's up Mwah. kiss you on your kiss you on your dick your face whatever whatever place you like to be kissed are you going to react to it or are you going to respond to it most likely because you know them and you know that you love them you're going to have a quick reaction your quick reaction is what's good 
What's good, baby? Take this to the bedroom. Take this to the bedroom. That's where we going. Your response could be, did they just kiss me? Oh, do I want to kiss him back? Do I want to fuck right now? Do I want to? You see, you see how these things can literally differentiate from each other. So it's my biggest thing behind this is it's about intention. Anything that you do is about intention. Working on your emotional body is important. The only reason people have quick, aggressive responses is typically because there's something that they dealt with in the past and they feel like they naturally have to defend themselves that's just what it is they haven't worked on their emotional body they haven't thought about you know well how can i react or respond to this differently that is the response that you need that one response right to think about your reactions then forward right you need that one now wait a minute why am i reacting this way why am i reacting this way why why am i hurt just because somebody did me dirty you know that's something that they internally have to deal with that that's it has nothing to do with me as a being i know who i am i'm happy for who i am they obviously are the miserable miserable person that is bringing that type of energy to me to bring me down with them your reaction, you literally, uh, uh, for example, I work in a, I work in a, a CBD, uh, CBD store, and you know, people could come in there and they can have certain reactions. Somebody come up to you, they they smile at you, hi, how are you? Your reaction is going to be to do it back. It can either be positive or it can be negative. You can either say, hey, how are you? Or you can say, fuck you, like, what's good? I don't, I don't know you. How you work on your emotional body is in important if you have not worked on your emotional body baby every reaction is going to be aggressive every reaction is going to be defensive every reaction that you have is going to be an impulsive thing that is not really thought through but if you think right right if you think about it right use that response for your reaction that's why i said they were one in the same you you need that response to think about your reactions, right, to something. There, There is no difference for me, for me and my journey. Now, you know, if anybody else has any other, um, you know, thoughts on this and want to discuss them with me, we can do that for sure. Like, you know, I, I definitely, I accept all comments. I accept anything. But if you're saying some stupid shit, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you off. <laughs> because I'm just like, well, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, but yeah, y'all, I just I wanted to make this video quick. I want to make sure I'm keep making videos and I'm I'm consistent with it. Um, I'm consistent with everything I'm doing. You know, even personally, me myself, I've stopped smoking. Um, and I'm saying this on YouTube because I, I need uh, accountability. Everything, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need, I need to be held accountable for my actions because I've been doing a lot of different things for so long. And I'm trying to, you know, initiate and put new habits in my life. And I told myself, I don't want to identify with being the girl who I was when I was a teenager in a, in my 20s. I, I'm moving on. I'm about to be 30 in 2023, y'all. So I want to make sure that I am, you know, I'm doing what I'm saying. I don't want to just say, oh, I'm an occultist and I'm spiritual and I, you know, you know, you know, I don't want to be that girl. I don't want to say, you know, I'm an occultist and I'm spiritual and I, I love, I love crystal rocks and oh, oh, like, you know, like that's not who I am. You feel me? Like I'm that, I'm that person that I, I need, I feed off of the knowledge. I need to be able to have an understanding deeper because that's what spirituality is. True spirituality has to do with the understanding of self. That is the true meaning of spirituality. A fucking rock ain't gonna help you understand your fucking self. I'm sorry, you're just fucking not. It's not, it's not. And that's just, the, that's, that's some real shit. It's not gonna help you understand yourself. You have to go beyond that. You have to go deeper than a fucking rock. You know what I'm saying? And some fucking goddamn meditation. It's, it just is what it is. It just is what it is. Are you listening to your spirits and your meditation? Are you clearing out your thoughts? Are you doing what you got to do for yourself? Because if you're not doing none of that shit, then it really don't fucking matter. But that's all I had to say, y'all.
Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate y'all. Peace. Salud.